to present our first casino entertainment legend award of the evening, please make welcome the general manager of entertainment operations at Wynn Las Vegas, Mr. Rick Gray. To see the show and it was every great musical number out of every MGM musical. Unbelievable. And we saw Singing in the Rain, we saw Meet Me in St. Louis, and we saw the pirate. And there was this pirate battle and the ship caught on fire and it sank on the stage. And this 600 gallon tank came up with a dolphin in it and a girl in a bikini. And the dolphin undressed the girl in the bikini. This is true, I'm not making any of this up. You couldn't make this stuff up. And at the end it was like, you know, we both knew this was what we wanted to do. And I went back to Hofstra University and I saw my professor and I said, told him all of this. And I said to him, this is the future. And my professor looked me in the eyes and said, forget all that theatrical crap. There's like, you know, be in the theater. Musicals have nothing to do with it. So Neil and I didn't do that. We followed our own way. About a year or so later, Neil went off to Reno and did a little show called um, Hallelujah Hollywood Hello. He put a 707 on stage, had a ton of different uh, people on it. But, you know, Neil has done every single thing in this business that you can possibly do. He's done opera, he's done Broadway, he's done Radio City Music Hall, Universal Studios, um, you know, Knoxville, uh, World's Fair. And I'm very proud to say that we've known each other all this time. And you know, the weirdest part of this is after 45 years, we both grew up on Long Island. I was in Levittown, he was in East Meadow. And two Long Island kids, 45 years later, he's in charge of entertainment at the Venetian, and I'm in charge of entertainment at the Wynn, which you can't make this stuff up. So um, two, you know, we've done almost everything the same. The only thing that I haven't been is a legend, and he is. So <laughs> Mr. Miller, here you go. Love you, baby.